Nama. So, um, it snowed. I used to sing a uh, song uh, on the first snow. Snow, 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 God has made it snow today. So, um, yeah, we would like, like, be jumping up and down and dancing. And, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we get, us ilgs get a little kind of kicked up about the first snow. And, what a great time to crack out the Winter Athlete book. Out of my nine books, definitely my favorite. Remember, yogis aren't supposed to have favorites, but I do, because I'm a feeble yogi. This is it. Hardcore holistic fitness uh, training prescriptions, um, for sure. Uh, but really, it's a soliloquy. It's like a, just an anthem to the sacredness of snows and cold. And in 20 years, like I had no idea like the change in the climate would happen in my lifetime let alone what they were. i mean really winter sports are begin are, are an endangered species like it's really like whew. so let's get out there you have a lot of beautiful footage to enjoy uh, hopefully in this uh vlog haven't downloaded it yet uploaded it downloaded it? oh um and uh what oh yeah that's right hate to tell you by popular request, got another original daddy joke today. Why do the ashes of dead people make good skiers? Because they earn their turns. Uh, I know. Okay. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Huge shout out to... We had two big supporters... Uh, sent and some really needed funds for to help me get Dewa to nationals um, as you know I took over her training after the regular season of high school cross country and now I can train her November 19th uh, down in Mesa Arizona I'm gonna take you guys along um, and we're gonna let the wild horse uh, get it done at the national level um, so basically I just been arresting her I just I set a 800 meter uh, snowshoe track loop way up at 11,000 feet tomorrow. I'm gonna run her. I'm gonna run the horse pretty hard tomorrow deep fiber recruitment uh, Just neuroplasticity of the biomechanics. Uh, there's nothing like snowshoeing that like really uh, invigorates that ligamentous uh, tendinous structure um, and uh, Just the skill and and like upper body like just huh, uh, core and just deep fiber recruitment so really looking forward to it um you'll see me set the track today that's the subject of the vlog and please if you have any ability uh help me uh get Dewa not only to nationals but also she's uh way she's gonna hit nordic training and race season like the other kids have been training on nordics uh in in nordic but she's been racing so uh, yeah it's gonna be a quick transition we're going to try to get her on the junior national um, uh, uh, qualifying meets throughout uh, the region. So lots of money. We don't have a lot of money. So your support really, really important. So thank you. And enjoy the vlog. Be inspired. And uh, thank you. All right. That's it. Bye. And so it begins again. Another season of stories in the snow. Already snowshoe hair tracks. And here we got a little ground squirrel nest here. See all the shells and then a bigger cat right here. The lynx. Because their main 
diet are snowshoe hares. So, oh my gosh, it's just a beautiful little woodland creature world here. I love it. So, when you make pack out a snowshoe truck, he has to make three passes basically. Uh, he tried to get him three snowshoe widths across. So, after the second pass, uh, you go through and then you break down the pods that go in between the shoes. So, basically, if I'm going to pack out even half a K of track for Dewa, that means I have to go back and forth over the same section of beautiful sacred snow at least three times just to make it more runnable and then I'll be spinning hot laps to pack it down even further because that's what daddies do it's our responsibility to pack out high altitude snowshoe training tracks for our kids I think I mean that was in my parenting handbook <laughs> okay Salad. So, took me about an hour to pack out. Uh, we're gonna call it 600 meters. Which is perfect. So, tomorrow, get Dale up here and uh, see how she's feeling. But we're I'm gonna come up with a very creative workout. Get those red blood cells, stimulate deep fiber base. And I laid out the course so that there are, it kind of mimics a lot of what the Nationals course is going to be. And I included certain uh, off camber. So there's nothing better to strengthen the ankles in sports snowshoe and uh, work with, you know, the off camber corners. And then when you're running on an uphill, uh, like traverse or downhill, you got to kind of cock one snowshoe so that those cleats so that those cleats can bite in and uh, so we're going to reverse the direction so her ankles get strengthened uh, you know holistically and um, should be a good time so the trail uh, is, right now is about 37 degrees and we have pockets of like sugary uh, snow where the temperature is colder and then here the temperature is more humid um, it has more humidity so you know it, it kind of packs firmer but tomorrow it's going to get like 20 degrees overnight I'd imagine and then so it goes through a freeze thaw cycle so tomorrow morning this track should be uh, really good for running hey did you want to take a lap on it why not
Well, ladies and germs, signing off. Tomorrow we'll bring up the Northern Lights racing snowshoes. I packed stuff out. These are the old Cthulhu Runner 22s, 22 inches. And so we'll bring out the little flyweights tomorrow, I think. And have a good time. Remember, it was a lot of work, but work is love made visible, said Cahill Gerbron. And uh, yeah, sign off from beautiful Snowden Meadows. Come on, baby, get out and do so as to be. So salty. I'll still take a bite. Okay. You can take my.